Yo, what's up? Today on Passport Kings, we're gonna go over which cruise company will probably work best for your occasion. Engage! I'm Rockland. I travel the globe for leisure, exploration, and education about different cultures. Join me, and you too can be royalty. This is Passport King. Welcome aboard, abroad. Exciting cruises are leaving a port every week and taking a boat full of people on an adventure of a lifetime. Some of the things you can expect are fun in the sun, or you can eat restaurants that are open all day long, parties, karaoke, Broadway slash Vegas shows, visiting islands, and just all around big fun with the people that you go with. Today's vessels are outfitted with Wi-Fi, cell service, and satellite TV, so you can stay in touch with the real world during your cruise if you want to. Onboard shops sell the toiletries you forgot to pack, medical centers can provide medicine or a doctor's service if needed, and laundry facilities let you wash your clothes mid-cruise so you don't need to overpack. Of course, there's also the fun stuff like arcades, gyms, multiple restaurants, movie screens, spas, swimming pools, theaters, and clubs. However, some cruises specialize in certain types of crowds. Figuring out the kind of crowd you are will determine which cruise you should take. Right after this ultra fast commercial, I will tell you which cruise to pick depending on who's going. Did you know that on Google you can search and single out which day would make your flight a lot cheaper? Find out tips like this and more immediately. Travel hacking has been around for forever for those in the know. Only recently has the internet revealed how some people are able to find the extremely cheap prices while everyone else is stuck with regular retail prices. Click the link below for an ebook that will put you in the loop too. Number five, grand celebration. For people that are only concerned with getting the cheapest cruise possible, this cruise is for you. You will usually hear advertisement about this cruise on your local radio stations or via ads in Groupon. I've been on this cruise twice, and I must say that at this price is impressive. Although it's bare bones as far as entertainment, fanfare, and the availability of all the activities aboard, this cruise actually serves its purpose, if to a smaller extent. One of the best inclusions with it was the opportunity to buy actual bottles of liquor to bring with you to your cabin. This is definitely a practice that other companies should adopt. The prices for the liquor were way above retail price, but on a cruise ship, it's a super discount when compared to just buying mixed drinks whenever you want one. And the food, although it is not nearly as many options that other cruise ships offer, is tasty and serves its purpose, and you can have as much of it as you want. On the downside, you can visually see wear and tear of this ship. My assumption is that this ship was purchased from the likes of Carnival instead of being decommissioned. Mission. Don't let that scare you though, because you can tell that the crew is 100% dedicated to the upkeep and safety of this ship. It's just that other companies are constantly adding to and upgrading its fleet, and this company is doing its best to not let this one go. Do I suggest this cruise? Yeah, I guess. But why? The price. The price is cheap and worth it. Do it as a cheap last minute weekend getaway when you had nothing else to do, but only after you have already experienced other cruises. The urge to cruise again and the memories created will not be as strong. Cruises should have bells and whistles, and it will if you go with one of these other options. Number four, Royal Caribbean. Royal Caribbean has the fanciest ships you will ever be on. Their designer must be from the future or something. Plus the staff is so cool it's almost like they are family members. And when it's time to leave, it's like you hate to leave them behind. Let me say whether you are a first time cruiser or not, this ship and itinerary are for everyone of all ages. This is definitely the cruise you want to be on for your first time. While at dinner, we ran into another couple that said this Royal Caribbean cruise is comparable to all of the ships in their fleet. And this thing was fancy. When you're indoors or outdoors, you will immediately notice the difference about how much this company cares about the upkeep and the modern features offered. All the way up until the end when we had to check out and it was very crowded, everything went perfectly. To avoid the checkout bottleneck, 
Ask for a printout of your bill the day before disembarking. If there are any discrepancies, you can resolve them early and totally relax on your last day at sea. Royal Caribbean is fun, but I have not been on enough cruises with them to give an equal comparison with the cruise company that came in first place. But I plan on doing a lot more research with this company. As a matter of fact, Royal Caribbean is the cruise ship that I'm going on on my next cruise. Number three, Oceania. Be different. Are you tired of the same old, same old cruises that everyone else does? Do you want to be a trendsetter? Are you already a jet setter? Well, get pampered like one and be a cruise innovator, especially right now while the third and fourth guests sail free. These cruises go to locations that are not overly saturated. To some people, the Bahamas and everywhere else in the Caribbean is old news. You in Alaska, New England, and Bermuda are the pictures that people really want to see. Plus, Oceana seems to always have the best giveaways and packages. The sales that are available right now will go above and beyond any other company on this list by giving you free internet, unlimited, and free airfare. I've never seen a deal like that with any other companies. Oceania is when you want to cruise in the big leagues. It's not as cheap as other cruises, and it shouldn't be. What you get in return for your money is well worth it, and it guarantees you an experience like no other. Number two, Disney. Some say it's pricey, but I guarantee you that it's worth every penny. Bring kids along, and this vacation will put you and this trip into legendary status. And I gave you the option to bring a kid along, because not all adults want to bring kids on this voyage. Going as adults is perfectly okay and well worth it, but bring kids and it really shines. A great idea on this cruise is to bring along walkie-talkies. This way everyone can roam all over the ship but stay in contact to meet for lunch, dinner, and shows. And remember, the first ever Marvel Day at Sea on selected Disney Magic sailings is coming in 2017. The event features all-day entertainment including exclusive interactions with some of the mightiest Marvel superheroes and the menacing foes that oppose them. An extraordinary deck party, Marvel-themed youth activities, special merch merchandise, and unique food and beverage offerings. Your family will not find an adventure like this anywhere else. When it comes to cruising with Disney, the company takes being the best cruise service very seriously, and for a family, it is unmatched. Number one, Carnival. Out of all the cruises I've ever taken, Carnival has been the most perfect for me and my crowd, my age range. It's not stuck up or bougie. The prices are very reasonable and the things that are paid for are the things I find most deserving of my money. I went on my last carnival cruise a Super Bowl or two ago. The boat had a super large screen projector on the Lido deck and half the ship gathered around as we all rooted for our favorite teams. The music in the lounging areas, the parties, the casinos and bars are all professional and free spirited. The restrictions of everyday life seem to be turned off for a couple of days. The workers will treat you like you paid much more to be there. They are respectful and cooperative looking for ways to meet your needs without you asking. The islands we visited in the Bahamas were well worth exploring, but I highly suggest you do some type of excursion. The very first time I went out there, a group of friends and I found ourselves a quiet alley in Nassau while we drank, cracked jokes, and made friends with the natives. And although that was super fun, I left that island feeling like I missed something. So the second time I went, I did go zip lining on an island tour with the sightseeing firm and deep sea diving. I felt so much more fulfilled with my time on the island that second time. But don't be mistaken, me and my friends still did drink a lot. <laughs> don't book your excursions on board or with this or any other cruise company. You can usually get the best deals on a day trip if you arrange it directly with your travel agent. Travel agents find better excursions for lower prices and you don't have to worry about the things that the cruise ship will tell you you should worry about. Your travel agent will make sure your excursion is lower priced and more fun. On your way out to Florida or wherever the cruise is leaving, make sure you don't miss the boat. I like to fly into the port city a day or two before the cruise begins, especially in winter, to make sure that flight delays and cancellations don't throw everything off. There is no stress like knowing the boat is about to set sail and you are not there yet. Having travel insurance will put your mind at ease if this happens, so make sure you order some. It can save you $600 or more if something out of your control that makes you miss the disembarking happens. Last bit of advice, I highly, highly, highly 
recommend the wristbands that you can order from Amazon on this link. I almost never wanted to cruise again when I began to feel nauseated my first time cruising. That time, I had to take a pill and I began to feel relief. But while I was purchasing the pills, a woman in the store showed me the wristband that she was using. I purchased them beforehand on my second cruise and I have never looked back. It's almost like I don't even notice we're on the water while wearing them, when being on the water was the only thing I could think of the first time. If you forget them, my only advice would be to eat a green apple or just hold a citrus fruit to your nose and inhale for a few minutes. It will give you relief, but yeah, go for the wristbands. The best deals on cruises can be found right now in the hot deals section of rocklandland.intellitravel.com. Do not put a www in front of that URL. Go there now and find all the latest cruise deals in one spot instead of flipping back and forth through internet pages. Then contact me when you see the one that's perfect for you and your squad. And remember, I price match. Yo, so remember cruising is the easy part, but picking the right one for your occasion, that's the part that you probably need a travel agent for. And I'll be there for you, and you can be treated like a king, a passport king. Did you like this episode? Great, remember to leave comments below. Subscribe and like and share it with your social media. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And if you want to make money online or just book a trip, go to www.passportkings.com and pick up our free book while you're there.